Hello again, welcome back. Um, this week's river pattern is going to be a sedge pattern. Um, the mayfly is all but done with and uh, the sedge are starting to come into their own a bit. So in the vise I have a Hanak 530 barbless pupa all round hook. It's a medium wire hook so it's, it's suitable for dries but strong enough to hold uh, big fish. I'm using size 10 but mostly I tie these flies at sort of 14 down to about 18 but size 10 is good for demonstration purposes so that's why I'm using it. First thread I'm going to use or material I'm going to use is uh, effects thread this is made by Hens it's the VP14 if you're interested in but a green glow bright floss will do the same sort of job and I'm going to catch that quite far back to the eye and I'm going to work it down my body. I'm just going to move this slightly in the vise and I'm going to bring it round the bend here. Remove my waist. Now before I come back up and start to create my body if you like, I'm going to add one of these. It's a magic quill. It's available from Gaga Flies and this is the, the size small. I've already taken a strand off. It's a synthetic quill and it's sticky on one side. So I've got it here and you can see it's it's black near the thin end and it goes clear. So I'm just going to catch that in on my side so you won't see but I'm Trust me when I tell you, it's well caught in there. And I'm now going to bring my thread up the shank of the hook. And I want to create a very thin taper. So I'm coming back down again. And I'm just taking my time to build up this nice solid green colour. Trying to keep it in touching terms. Don't want to catch in any erroneous materials there that's creeping on. And I'm fairly happy with that. So I'm going to leave my, my hook where it is at the moment and I'm going to start bringing my magic quill around the body of the fly. Might take a little while to just get going, but once you've got the the flow of it, it's quite easy to work with. I've got that going now, just increase my speed. All the way up to the top and then a couple of turns in with the thread just to hold it into place Then I can turn my hook back round and I'll trim this away now. Just to make sure it's in place, I'm going to just give it another couple of wraps. Now before I go on, I'm going to add a, the tiniest bit of UV resin. This is um, very thin stuff, it's from Troutline. It's, it's made for peregrine nymphs really, but it's very, very thin UV resin. So I've got my needle, I'm going to just get the tiniest amount on, I hope. And then I can work that around the fly body. And this just offers a little bit of protection as well as adding to the appearance of the fly. It's looking okay. Just 
come in with my torch and cure that. And that's all good. Okay, I'm now going to change over threads. I'm going to bring in uh, the Vivus GSP50. I'll catch that in directly behind the eye and just get a few wraps in before it turns into a disaster with this hen stuff. But I managed to catch that before it went too badly wrong. Then I can remove my rat's tail and the hen's material at the same time. So I've got my uh, my nymph body. I'm just going to have a look and see what you're seeing. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. Just lock that down again. Now I'm going to put an underwing on this fly, and what I'm going to use is a little bit of snowshoe here. This is a this has been dyed olive, and I'm just going to take a little few fibres from the foot, just off camera there. And I'll just get rid of any fibre I don't want. Dress it up to the hook. Make sure you get your length that you want right. Then I can come in and just trim away the fibre I don't want. Okay. First of all, a little bit of wax. Give you some purchase. I'm going to do quite a lot of waxing to this thread. Because there's a lot of stuff here that just needs a little help in hand bedding in. So I've caught that first of all. And just check the length again. I'm happy enough with that. And next, the overwing. I'm going to use just a coastal deer here. Very soft. It's lovely stuff this. Now I've already put some in my stacker because I didn't want to bang it against the desk because it would move the camera and the vise and go out of focus. So I've got my deer hair in my stacker already and I've taken, you can see, you'll see how much I've taken once I've taken this out of the stacker. There we go. Again, I'm transferring it over to my right hand just to dress it up to the hook. I want about that much. And you'll get a feel for this when you're tying lots of them. You get a feel for how much you need. But it's always worthwhile just showing it up to the hoop to check. Then I'm going to bring it in just there. And hopefully I've still got a bit of wax on my thread there. I'll catch that in. And that's pretty secure now. So I can let go. See what I've got. Now, if I'd, if I'd been a bit neater with this, I'm just looking for my pointer, I could have caught in just two or three wraps there and left the, the deer hair at the front, which would be perfectly acceptable. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to just make sure that I've got that absolutely pinned down. Like so. And I'm going to put a little half hitch in just to hold it into place here at the top. Now, I tied a little bug the other the other day there and uh, I stuck it up on Facebook as you do and I tied the body with this stuff. Um, it's K-Pock and people lost their minds because they said, oh, it's, it's for dry flies, what are you doing putting on a bug? But you know, if we, we all stuck to that mentality, nothing would ever get done differently. So uh, to make it up to them folks, I'm going to use the K-Pock as it was intended for the head of this dry fly. Now I've already taken a little bit out of the packet and I've put it into my clip. So I need to open up that thread and I'll do that with my needle. Like so, and I'll in 
insert my clip in. And spin it up. Okay, now that's well and truly caught in. I can come in with my fingers now, take away my excess material, and this makes a, a really nice brush to finish off the fly with at the front. And again, I'll just come in the first turn is going to be right at the top of the head. Now, I could, and what I often do with sedges, is lift everything back and put a turn in behind. And what that does is it makes the fly sit differently in the water. But for this particular fly, I, d I don't want it to cock like that. So I'm not going to do that on this occasion. But if you want to fish it slightly different, in behind, and you can get your fly to sort of sit up a bit more. I want this to sit right in the film. So bring that over, a couple of turns will bring me to the front, make sure I've left enough room to finish up, and then the old trick, a little bit of UV resin on my thread, make sure you've got everything back. Then I can bury my thread in there, snap it away, quick finish off with the torch, and then last but not least, just come in. with your brush to finish off the fly. Let's have a quick look at your side. And there's the finished article. Now you can use different coloured threads for the body. I've used green, I find it quite effective, but um, a grey done works well. I've not tried red, maybe that's something for the future, but uh, the green's a real killer, it, it works a treat for me. Thanks very much for joining and I'll uh, see you again next time.